was good fun, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> it was. Yes, there were some big. hairy. There were some hairy bits in between, yeah. or in the making of it, I suppose. Yeah. But it was. Mm. It was so big because we we're trying to cover the whole seventy years. But at the same time, we wanted to really position the Australian thing very strongly as yeah. part of it. Well, this is the. This really is the beginning. Well, it started me wanting um, to read. The sixpence have gone to six and six. <laughs> if a book has a puffin on it, then it's guaranteed to be something you can buy and give to a child with confidence. But tonight we're here to celebrate something very special, Puffin's 70th birthday. All I see is, is treasure on these walls and I, I'm so surprised actually that they're all Puffins. To me, Puffin means joy. They're pretty much my favourite books and the only ones that I read these days, which I'm not sad about. In every really great story, there's a moment that, whether you're a writer or a reader, it takes your breath away, leaves you, in fact, puffing. And it's no coincidence that so many of those great stories are, in fact, puffins. Here I am at uh, Puffin's 70, 70th birthday. That's a lot of years. It's just, it's made me feel pretty nostalgic. So I'm very happy to be here, and happy birthday, Puffin. I'm a big fan of the world of books and Puffin is, is, is doing their best for kids and it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. The exhibition is particularly fine because there are three photographs of me. What I don't like is the fact that they were taken 30 years ago and I don't seem to have aged that well. Strange. They gave me my start and I've stayed with Puffin the whole way through. I think I've done over 50 books now and I'm with them because they're wonderful people, been wonderful to me and published wonderful happy books. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Puffin, happy birthday to you.